Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. This is something I've never attempted to do. I'm going to attempt to unbox five subscription boxes for you guys in under 25 minutes and the catch is they also all cost under $25. So if you guys are looking for those under $25 Christmas gifts, you've come to the right place. This first subscription that I'm going to unbox is new to my channel, but the other four are returning favorites. So please look for future, uh, sorry, past unboxings down in the description box below if you want more details because I don't get into details as much as normal. Also, prices will be on the screen written out because this is going to be a quick glance and I don't always have time to say all the prices. So this is the first one is completely new to my channel. It's called Woven. It actually just arrived today. I'm super excited about it. So let's get started. So real quick guys, this is a monthly t-shirt subscription. The t-shirts I've heard are really soft and really thin. I had no clue what type to get. They had men's regular. They had ones that weren't labeled men and women. The one I got here was just the v-neck. It didn't say men or women's. They do have a separate column for men, uh, women's. They've got long sleeves. Just check them out. And actually guys, if you use my referral link, that'll be in the description box down below, you will get 50% off your first subscription, making your t-shirt $7.50. I actually use the subscription referral link from Life of a City Girl, that's Alex, so I got my first t-shirt for $7.50. You can't normally beat that at all, and I'm already feeling how soft and wonderful this is. Each month it comes with a artist and picture of the, of the artist's design, it looks like a bear, and it has a card about who designed your shirt. And normally I would be reading it. It says this is a poster. Flip it over and put it on the wall. Unfortunately, it came in my mailbox really, really bent up. Um, but I do have the lovely t-shirt. So I'm going to pull all this out. And again, I had to guess on the size. I was kind of going for comfort and cozy. So let's see how I did. All right. I think I did pretty well. It might be, it might look like it's going to be a little bit big. But that's completely fine with me for cozy and comfort. And I love this little bear icon. The thing about Woven is a lot of their icons and for the month the pictures are nature themed and I really really love and appreciate that. So guys, I'm this is super soft and Alex from Life of a City Girl also said that they're very thin and I can feel that it's thin. So if you guys are looking for some monthly shirt options, please check out Woven. Please use my referral link below. It helps me out. It'll help you. I'll get 50% off your subscription. If I can get a picture of myself in this shirt, that'll be quite the task, but I will try, and if so, I will insert it here. All right, up next is Mint Mongoose. You guys know it comes in the very iconic teal wrapping mailer, and it's actually my favorite jewelry subscription, but you guys, I have a lot of necklaces right now, and unfortunately, you can't... Um, customized to not get necklaces so I would love to get it if it was just bracelets and rings but that's okay if there's a time in my life if I want more necklaces I definitely would subscribe to this I love this one it's the one where you actually get to keep the jewelry um I do you guys you do know I like rocks box but that one is a rental unless you buy any of the pieces so let's get inside here see what's in this one all right, so always look for deals when you get your first mint mongoose. I got this one for just shipping, and it always comes in this iconic little envelope with the mint mongoose seal and a Werther's candy. All right, we've got three pieces very nicely wrapped. I can't wait to get inside and see what they are. All right, we've got three gorgeous pieces this month. This first one is this very, very long, long necklace. You can tell the chain. I got it at the shortest, shortest possible adjustment. It is very adjustable, but it's very long. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It's very lightweight. It would go well, I think, with a lot of turquoise type tops, things like that. I'll show it to you against the white envelope here. That is really pretty. I love the colors in that. I love the sparkle. I love the shine. I love the gold chain. It's just very, very long, but that's all right. The second necklace is much, 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 much shorter in length. 
It's almost like a big version of a horseshoe or just a mini almost circle, but you can see how short it is. And that one is really pretty too. All right, so here's how the second one would look. I really, really like this one a lot. It's, oh, I love the gold jewelry these days. Gold's totally been my color for jewelry. And with the subscription, you can customize and pick silver gold or rose gold. You can also pick to have earrings or no earrings, and you can even include watches if you'd like. So if you guys are interested in the subscription, if you want more details, I will put the price on the screen for you guys. Then I also have a former unboxing that I did of this subscription that I won from Laughing Without an Accent a couple months ago. Uh, I'll put that down in the description box below, so be sure, to, be sure to check that out. And our third item is this really, really, really pretty bracelet. Look at that design. I love it. I'm going to put that on. <laughs> Why not, right? I absolutely love this bracelet. Although I think I'm doing something wrong with the back. You guys let me know. I thought there might be like an extension or maybe two different eye hooks, but it's looking like I'm hooking it in the wrong spot and there's this really long chain. So if you guys know what I'm doing wrong, please let me know in the <laughs> comments below. But she does, uh, the curator is a fantastic lady and again, this is a small business that I love to support. This, this whole set was inspired by the Northern Lights, which I really, really love. She has an inspiration card for her pieces. I don't have pierced ears, so I opted not to get earrings. I'm very, very glad I got this bracelet instead. And she shows options to layer the two necklaces, which is really cool. Maybe I'll try to do that. But she says that um, she wanted to tribute this month's box to the stunning beauty found in Mother Nature, the Northern Lights. More specifically, the way they light up my daughter's eyes, even though we have yet to see them in real life. May we all strive to have the light in her eyes that I've seen in hers while we look at the pictures of this natural miracle. Wow, and I can't, I can't tell you how much I relate with that because I too really would love to see the Northern Lights and love looking at pictures of them. Uh, so that's super cool, guys. I, my favorite piece is by far the bracelet. Um, I can't wait to try these necklaces on. If I can get in a picture of me wearing them, I will insert them here. Anyway, love, love, love this jewelry subscription box. Again, it's my favorite. It's the one I would recommend the most if you're looking to pick out a jewelry box, a uh, subscription box of jewelry to keep. So anyway guys, let's move on. All right guys, as you can see, these la necklaces layer very well together. This one could be made tighter. I could put it on a shirt. It would have to be a very low cut shirt if you wanted it to, <laughs> to be seen on skin and not a t-shirt. Clearly I would wear a dressier t-shirt, but I wanted to show you the shirt that I got from Woven. It fits fantastically. It is a little bit long, but that's okay. Uh, I think it would it would be classified as like a unisex shirt because it's, it's not a men's large because that would be huge on me. Um, and, and it is very long. But look at how nicely this other necklace goes with this woven t-shirt. This one will fit a lot of nice necklines. This one's for, I would say, more longer type sweater type um, garments. M you know, fall long sleeve shirts, maybe even over a turtleneck kind of thing. This longer style isn't quite my style, but like I said, I wouldn't wear it normally on a print. But here you go, guys. Pictures and audio for once. Peace. <laughs>all right next i have another personal favorite from my channel this is the coin and currency club if you guys haven't checked out my previous video it'll be linked in the description below each month they feature a different country and have some information about the country as long as a banknote an uncirculated banknote i should say and an uncirculated coin it's great for educational purposes homeschooling um, coin collection currency collection you name it Fun and educational. I love this box so much. I got this one actually free just because I asked if they had any Latin American countries since I did minor in Spanish at school in um, in college. And they had Peru, but he, this was before they had all the information cards and everything, but he actually sent this to me for free since I did review some of their other ones on my channel in the past. So here's a gorgeous, gorgeous postcard of Machu Picchu. This place is on my bucket list. Machu Picchu, Peru in general, definitely on my bucket list. 
Let's go over some quick facts about Peru. Peru, sorry, Republica de Peru. The capital, of course, is Lima. The currency is the Sol. Population: thirty-two million one hundred seventy thousand back in twenty seventeen. And languages, Spanish, of course, and Quechua. I believe Quechua. Oh, man. I took a history of Latin America class in college. I believe Quechua is some type of indigenous type language. Um, if I'm wrong or if I'm right, I will put it in the screen right in here somewhere. <laughs> and the GDP per capita is $6,571,000 as of 2017. So some points of interest for Peru, of course, the lovely, amazing Andes Mountains. Another bucket list item, Plaza de Armas Cusco. Cusco, I would love to see the city of Cusco. Oh, and this amazing sand dune period pyramid type shape. The Vinicunca, Vinicunca, I think, or Vinicunza. Uh, wow, I actually saw a YouTuber that had went there and she posted an amazing video of this place and pictures just don't do this justice. But anyway, let's take a look at the banknotes. I like to take them out and give you guys a full view of them. Coin and Currency Club, if you're watching this, I'm still following your channel. I would like to accumulate more Hispanic countries in the future since I did study a lot of these countries. They are of particular interest of me, to me. This is the Banco Central de Re Reserva de Peru. And this looks like 10 sol. And there's a pilot. The newer newer versions of the subscription would explain what, who is on the banknote and what is being featured, but the old ones do not. But that's okay. This subscription was one of his first ones I think they did. Oh, and that's definitely Machu Picchu on the back. Diez Nuevo Soles. Okay, so the floral of sol is solis, diez nuevo solis, so ten, ten new dollars, I guess that's how that translates. Beautiful Machu Picchu, oh, oh, we've got a, oh, sweet, we've got a little, we've got a little seal or, or uh, what's that called, crown of arms, um, wow, brain is blanking. I think there's, I'm pretty sure there's a llama or an alpaca up there. Uh, I can't see what the other two items are. Let me see if I can look at it. All right, I think coat of arms is the term I was going for, but sadly, I still can't see it. The other two in that coat of arms. That is gorgeous. And then the, the coin actually has the same coat of arms on it. If you can see it, again, there's the, oh, I'm gonna Google. I feel like it's, I'm pretty sure it's a llama. But I will Google to make sure. Glad my phone didn't pull up the assistant. That's a beautiful coat of arms. I really can't tell what those other two items are, even on the coin. One looks like a plant, and I really can't tell what's at the bottom. I will probably Google it, because I think this is interesting, and tell you guys what's in there. And then this uh, just shows the denomination on the front. It's 50, or as they would say, 50 soles de oro. Now, oro means gold, so... I'm sure this isn't real gold. I mean, if it is, then wow. Uh, no, but it's probably gold-plated. But that's really, really pretty. I, I love this shiny coin. This is such a coin coin. You know what I mean? Like a coin coin. Like, it's plated in gold. It's got this beautiful coat of arms. I love it. I love it. And I love the subscription. This is a lot of fun. It's educational. Like I said, in the newer... This is from 1982, by the way, uncirculated. In the newer subscriptions... The curator has provided more information about what is on the banknote and the coin. But you guys definitely check the subscription out. This is so much fun. So much fun for kids and adults alike. Learning, homeschooling, coin collecting, money collecting, etc. I love it. And I love Peru and Machu Picchu. That is gorgeous. So, alright. Let's move on, shall we? All right, guys, this next box is Confetti Collection. It is great for stationery and paper good lovers alike. I haven't opened it for a while on my channel, but it is a great one, and I can't wait to get inside and see what it's all about this time. All right, some really interesting objects looking in here. Uh, let's see, this card that came in it, and I had to wrestle to get it off that. It says, surprise, which box did you get? Something juicy or wish upon a star? 
I would highly guess it's something juicy, and I can tell you right now I would have wanted to wish upon a star, but that's all right. In this box, you'll find a little bit of everything. We'll include something for your desk, something for your feet, your thoughts, and more. Need a last-minute gift? Gift to use a gift bag and shred and share with something with your friend. All right, so let's get in here. All right, you guys. So this is definitely a fruit themed. Uh, I pull out these cord keepers by C.R. Gibson. That's the brand they use for a lot of their things. There's a pink and a red one. They look like watermelons. I'm thinking this is maybe one of those things that you use to um, keep cords from bunching up. I'm not really sure. I don't know if you guys have any ideas to put it. Let me know in the comments below. At first I thought it might be one for a charging cable to keep off for your phone to keep it safe, but it's too big for that. So yeah, I think it's just to keep bunch bunches of cords together. But if you have any other ideas, please let me know because there is no product guide in this box. All right, I like the Go Bananas pen. It's got a really cute banana charm at the top. Uh, I got a flamingo type pen in another confetti collection box. And I have to admit, it was really difficult to write, be writing and have this clanking on the pen the whole time. So I did take the charm off. Although this one's quite adorable with the banana. I do like that it's yellow. These pens weren't the greatest to write with. At least the flamingo one wasn't. This looks like the same brand. But I still appreciate it. It's fruit. It's really cool. It fits with the theme. Next, we have these pom-pom push pins. Uh, I honestly don't have a use for them. I guess they're kind of too cutesy for my liking, but um, I guess they are creative and there's something different. If any of you can think of any crafts or anything you might want to use it with, do let me know. And let's see what we got here. All right, this packaging is intriguing me a little bit. It says one in a melon, so let's see what this is. Oh, wow, they're socks. Uh, and they're very, very pink. I, if you guys don't know me by now, I don't like wearing these types of socks at all. Uh, I find them scratchy. These are way too long. I will probably gift these or put them in a giveaway. Uh, and I don't like pink. I really don't. And this whole box is kind of screaming pink to me right now. I now I need to go back and find unboxings for that other choice. Or it wasn't even a choice. I just randomly got this one. Would love to see that Wish Upon a Star box right now, wouldn't you? Anyway, though, these are some cool fun, fun ideas, so let's continue. I do like this next item. Maybe it's because it's the only pink thing that's not pink in here. It just says a pouch with a tassel, but it's definitely, it's got some cardboard in here to keep it open. You could have pencils, pens, makeup brushes, anything like that that you wanted, I think, in here would work well. Um, it's a really nice pouch. It's good quality. The tassel's cute. I really like the colors. Green and blue. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next we have a classic confetti collection journal. I have a teal green one of exactly the same size, but it doesn't have a bejeweled, bedazzled flower on it. Um, again, it is lined paper, so these always come in handy. I, I can use this, or quite frankly, it would make a really nice gift either way, because I do have a lot of journals from confetti collection and other boxes, but you can never go wrong. Oh, look at the sparkles. <laughs> you can never go wrong with a journal. Um, I'll never say never, but anyway, so humor, we have a pin, I believe. Let's check this one out real quick. All right, guys, I thought it was a pin. It's not, I don't know what it is. It's sticking to my fingers because they had it like stuck to the little cardboard thing, but the cardboard says to bring you laughter and it's a coin or something, I guess, if it didn't have the sticky on the back. I guess it's just some type of coin. This would be cute to put in a card, maybe, or part of a decoration on a gift. All right, this is, I would say, the highest quality item in the box. It's a really cute lemon box. It's got one of those magnetic closures. And when you open it up, it's a lemon notepad. And it's just a whole bunch of blank pages, you know, as in not lined, except that they have a little lemon design. And I think that's super, super cute. I do like that a lot. Um, and again, I love these quality of these boxes. I've gotten some of these in past. They close nicely in some of the past confetti collection boxes. All right, so here's an up close. Here's a better version with uh, the notepad without the little thing around it. Again, these are all, I like how many pages there are in here. I mean, this is a lot of pages. So this is really cool. This is definitely a usable, functional item. 
And last but not least, Confetti Collection wouldn't be complete without including a gift bag of some sort. If you've got a smaller gift this time, you can certainly include, put your gift in there. And it says, Let Confetti Fly. That's really pretty. I do like that. I love that this box provides last minute gift things or gift accessories that you might need for gifts, things like that. I will say this is not the best confetti collection that I've opened in terms of what I like and products and even quality, I would say, of products. Um, I, I got pretty confetti collection near the beginning when it very first started, and I would say the quality's gone downhill a little bit. I've seen it redeem itself in more recent unboxings, so certainly continue to check it out. It is a fun subscription, and like you said, like, I, like you see, it has a variety of items in here. So here's the confetti collection box themed something juicy all right everybody last but not least one of the very first boxes I subscribed to it originally did come in boxes uh, you can see all my past subscriptions of it in the description box below this is Kal-El this is a monthly fandom subscription box predominantly for women but men like would definitely like some of the items in here and look how thick this envelope is this time guys this is packed full can't wait to open it I've been wanting to open this for a long time this this theme is Wonder Woman let's get in eek you guys I'm so excited look how big this bundle is this month this is the biggest amount of anything I've gotten from Kal-El before I love her art prints and actually this reminded me I wanted to put another picture frame on my Christmas list for these 4x6 prints because I get so many of them. Well, that's a product guide. Uh -huh. But I love this. Look how pretty that is. I know I can't spend a lot of time on this, so we're going to move along. If you guys... More goodies upon goodies. We have a little whole bunch of goodies here. Whole bunches of goodies. Oh, it's a shame that this got bent, but this is a magnet. This box always comes with a magnet. Oh my gosh, I love this magnet. Wow. <laughs> you guys know I have a magnet board on my crystal collection shelf. This is going up there. This is colorful, gorgeous, embodies Wonder Woman. Wow. Wow, you guys, look at all these items, and we haven't even gotten to the big surprise item over here yet. The magnet is actually from Wonder Woman 1984, which is the movie I don't... I don't know if it's come out yet. If I find out, I'll put it in the description box below, with theaters being at limited or closed capacities. We have these beautiful W Wonder Woman earrings. I actually want to get a cloth uh, banister thing to hang pins and earrings on, because look at this amazing Wonder Woman pin with one of the classic backings. That's gorgeous. We have this, these really cool Wonder Woman star hairpins. I've never seen hairpins in a kal box before, so that's something new. Completely new. I don't usually wear hairpins, and I've gotten them in two separate subscription boxes lately. It's pretty cool. Not complaining. Uh, they're really pretty. And this one I had situated. Here we go. Sort of. It's a silhouette of Wonder Woman, and it's a necklace. She kind of always has one of these necklaces um, in her boxes with a bigger item on it, on the chain, a bigger charm. Alright, I loosened it up a little bit so you could see it better with the chain. That's really cool. And guys, this is a leather Wonder Woman bracelet with a W charm. And it looks like it's got snaps. I, <laughs> I haven't seen a bracelet like this in a, a long time. I'm going to see if I can get this on and get the W looking a little bit better. I love the blue color. It's going to make me feel like Wonder Woman with what she wears around her wrist. Alright, so aesthetically it looks really, really cool. And I'm not even sure if I'm wearing it correctly. Might try to go somewhere on her social media to see if she's got any pictures of it anywhere. The W does slide around a lot. It's actually very difficult to snap. I think as the leather bends a little bit more and conforms to my wrist, I might be able to get it to that tightest setting because I do have a rather tiny wrist um, but really guys this is a really cool idea I like that the three leather pieces together kind of scream Wonder Woman <laughs> uh, for sure alright I like that she's bringing it I'm assuming I have never seen the Wonder Woman cartoons I'm assuming 
This is kind of retro and this design is going back towards those cartoons. The tote's really nice. It's got some outer pockets here. Uh, yeah, you guys can see that. Um, there's two outside pockets. They don't close or anything, but you can put something in there. And then it's got two smaller handles that you can just handle and it's also got a shoulder strap. So I like the dual functionality of that. It's a really nice sturdy tote. I got a sturdy tote in my X-Men box from Kal-El, the very first one I got, and I've, I've used this, I use that tote all the time. I love it. Um, so this is good quality, and I would certainly, while it's the cartoon version, the X-Men one was a little more um, adult-like. This one is still pretty cool to at least use, and it's very, very durable. Let me know what you think of this box. I love these Kal-El boxes, and I wish, it's kind of killing me that I can't spend more time on these items, but... Uh, let me know what you guys think. Check out my other unboxings in the description box. And you guys, I have made it to the end of the video. We have done five boxes under $25 in 25 minutes. So yes, indeed, I am Wonder Woman. If you like this video and my challenge to myself, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, it helps out my channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed and want to see a whole bunch of subscription boxes coming your way, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It's no cost to you. Move that notification bell all the way to the top so you get all of my notifications. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye.